Yo, what's going on, people? This is your boy, Imp. Regards to that fire shit. And today, we're diving into another CAC tutorial video, man. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying these, man. And make sure you guys do comment down below who you guys would like to see next. Of course, I am doing Sakura Hanano today from Naruto. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. So when it comes down to the body, I decided to make her too short but not too tall. So I feel like if you're gonna set her height, it should be either either the second or third. I think this is gonna be really good. I'm gonna say kind of the second, just because I want her to be like around the same height as Naruto and Sasuke. And then when it comes to the body type, of course, we're gonna have it at just one above. She's not that thick or anything like that, so we gotta keep her pretty slim. And she has no chest whatsoever. Maybe, maybe a little. There you go. I gave her a little something, something. And of course, for the skin type, she is a little bit lighter, so I give her the pretty uh, kind of light uh, skin tone there as well when it comes to Sakura. Now, switching on over to the hairstyle, it's the Sakura hairstyle. We all have seen this in the game if you've been playing it for a couple of days, or even if you've just been creating characters. You know, there's that haircut in the game. You can't get that exact Sakura pink, uh, but we can get that wig or that kind of headpiece to put onto Sakura that makes her look more legit. Uh, when it comes down to the eyebrows, I'm just going for the third one down as far as in the first column. So uh, first one, first, sorry, first column, no, yes, first column, third row. That is the one that I'm choosing. It looks really, really good. And that's the best one in my opinion. Now, I did go for like a darker kind of brownish, blackish color just because when you kind of throw on the, uh, the pink, it doesn't look that good. Um, so I feel like you really shouldn't add that one on in my personal opinion. Um, but either way, it's, it's okay. You can add it on the pink if you like to. And this is what it looks like with the pink on there. Um, maybe I'll leave it just to kind of have it because her eyebrows are pink. Um, so that way you guys do know that as well. Kind of have the reference picture right there for you. Now, when it comes down to ears, you guys know me. Keep it really easy. It's covered up anyway, so go ahead and smack those small ears on. And then when it comes down to the eyes, I told the uh, it's going to be the first column, second row. The easiest one. She has big, big eyes. And look at the reference picture again. She has some really big eyes when it comes to her man so definitely definitely pick this one because she has some huge eyes within the show i wish the irises were a little bit smaller but it's it's, it's okay it's cool uh so for right pupil i did the biggest eyes possible and of course as far as the color goes it's gonna be this kind of green right here so first row it's gonna be the fourth one right there so it looks really good and that is going to be the same exact thing when it comes down to the left pupil as well uh, so moving on to the nose I kept it super simple third one down there so second column uh, third row looks really easy to kind of work with just a small little nose she doesn't need anything crazy now I did want to add some fullness to her face because you don't want to choose anything this small or you know big lips or anything but I did choose this one here and it works really really well that's the one that I uh, sorry this one right here this is the one that I like in my personal opinion gives a little bit of fullness to the face uh, she definitely needs that of course and then next you're gonna have as far as the features it's gonna be of course her trademark kind of diamond there on her forehead or if you like to you can switch over and give her the full transformation right here to kind of activate her a thousand or a hundred healing technique or a hundred healing jutsu so really really clean stuff or you can add both if you like to uh there's no reason you can't it looks really cool if you do actually in my opinion but uh you can definitely just add one or add both whatever you like to do and then when it comes to her voice i'm gonna have the option here and i feel like voice four is the best option for her i think it sounds really really close to how she does in the anime so uh take a listen let me know what you guys think <laughs> I think it sounds really, really close, so hopefully this will work well. And if you guys have any disagreeing or anything like that, let me know what you guys would change as far as this portion goes. Now, I feel like Voice 4 was the best option. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below when it comes to Voice 4. Now, let's go ahead and check out the actual costumes we can put onto Sakura. All right, so when it comes to customizing Sakura, you have a couple different options or two different outfits you can go with. Of course, you can go with the pretty iconic one with being her pink top or kind of red top here uh, with the same kind of similar bottoms. Of course, you have to throw the gloves right there for the hands, it makes it look really legit. Then of course you got the boots and that would be the first costume. Now of course I do have the accessory piece on for her hair because if you take it off, it's obviously her regular kind of peak darker hair. Uh, but of course you put this on, gives her the legit one and she has the gloves on so that is the way you're supposed to do it. Plus I have another costume for you. Now this right here would be her Great War arc outfit that you could also add on to Sakura. Of course this is really iconic from the 4th Great Ninja War. Super simple Jonin costume with the boots on, with the wraps on the feet, everything like that. The old reliable Kakashi costume but on Sakura. Same thing we did for Hanata as well. So uh, this is another option for you. Personally I'm going to go with the more iconic kind of classic Shippuden Sakura outfit. But let me know which one you guys like more in the comments down below. But anyways let's go hop over to the moveset. 
Now when it comes to Sakura's moveset, you have a couple different options. I did choose Detroit Smash, Six Path Spar, You Think You're Invincible, and Delaware Detroit Smash. Now this makes the most sense because it's the most powerful, hard-hitting ultimate move we have in the game. Uh, you Think You're Invincible is a move I thought was really cool because she does have a technique that she did use on Naruto in the first episode of Shippuden where she grabbed him and smashed him into the ground. Six Path Spar, of course, it's just a heavy-hitting smash move just right across the face and it's just perfect for Sakura and I feel like Detroit Smash is like a weaker version of that. Now, if you don't want Detroit Smash or Six Pat Spar, you can always switch it out for Manchester, uh, Manchester Smash, but I don't have that one currently in stock with my character or with my kind of playthrough that I'm doing at the moment. So I will unlock that later and you can switch it out for one of those moves. But I think Manchester, uh, Manchester Smash will be another great option. But let's show you guys how these combos will look and how these moves will look for Sakura. So and alright guys, I'm going to do a quick quick fight for you guys, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and you guys did enjoy the Sakura CAC tutorial man. If you guys did, make sure you guys give the video a like, I'd really appreciate it. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next video, make sure you guys do comment down below who you guys would like to see next for me to create in Jump Force. I have some more characters on the way. This has been your boy Infamous and I am out. Mm-hmm. <laughs>